tree acknowledgement basically is um, when you acknowledge the land that you're on and the number of treaties. So where we are right now at Elk Island is Treaty 6. And basically the Métis Nation, Dakota Sioux, um, a lot of different nations were in this area and it's just acknowledging that they were here first and to respect the land because now that we're here, we're also treaty people. Land acknowledgement for me helps me get mindful in the moment. And I actually reflect in my heart about my ancestors who came to Canada uh, because of the land, even though I think they were told the land was empty before they came. To me, land acknowledgement is a um, simple yet very powerful way to uh, show respect. As the descendant of a settler, it is a reminder to me that I'm part of a binding trust agreement to use this land and use it respectfully. And I have the opportunity to share it and benefit from, from it, and so I have the responsibility to walk peacefully and gently, gently on it. Land acknowledgement, I think for me, is uh, something that was, uh, I guess, more or less taught to me when I was a child. Uh, I think acknowledging that it is a Creator's gift. That was very, uh, that meant a lot to me because the land was, is, I guess Mother Earth is Mother Earth. So that is how we were viewed, uh, Mother Earth, to look at the Earth, was to acknowledge in that way and to show respect and love and kindness to a mother that's taking care of you. So it'd be like your own mother or your own grandmother that would kind of look at it from that standpoint. in schools I think because this is a place of education so to educate um, other people about uh, treaty acknowledgement and um, educate them on who is here first is important and to start education of course starts with schools. It's so important that we do it because I feel like Canada is waking up from this collective trance that we've been in uh, where so much of us didn't know the truth we weren't taught the truth. I think it's to teach the kids because kids need to have that spirit, that ground, that spiritual foundation grounded early. So the kids understand that, then they learn to come to respect. I feel that it's, it's important because when a group or a person uses a land acknowledgement, it signifies that this is a peaceful and open place that celebrates and accepts diversity. It's all about bringing out the truth. So a lot of people actually don't understand or know even what happened in say like residential schools. Some people don't know what they were. And I think it's important that uh, people start to learn and understand what that means so then we get a better understanding of what happened in our past and having a little bit more empathy towards uh, certain groups. Um, it's important to me because I'm Métis, so I'm a part of the Métis Nation of Alberta. And um, to me, it means that people care and they want to do something to reconcile the relationship between non-Aboriginal and Aboriginal people. And that's really important to me because, yeah, there'll be ignorant comments here and there, but um, as long as we get that understanding eventually and reconcile what has happened in the past, I think we can come to terms. For me, as a Métis person, it um it always sends a little shiver, no matter how many times I hear it, um, to hear a land acknowledgement, um, because to me it it helps to honor my ancestors. It helps to honor you know, where they came from and what their contributions are. Yeah, I feel grounded. I feel centered. I feel curious, and I feel grateful. When I hear it read, it gives me goosebumps. You know, when you're when you're covered up with a blanket where nobody sees you for a long time, and all of a sudden the blanket comes off, and there you are and for the first time, people see who you are. And, and when you look at it from that, it, it, gives, it gives me that excitement because now we're being recognized for a person, for people, for a nation that, that are from this land. And, it, and it's important, you know, many times I've heard, well, where are you from, you know? Uh, <laughs> I said, I've been here for years. No, you haven't, you know, you must have came from a different, different country. I said, no, we were always here. So we're, we're fixing that. We're fixing that part in history to make it right.